I'm not a Taylor Swift fan at all, but the bitch can sing. You know what I mean? I'm not going to see her and say she can't sing. The bitch can sing. But to make $100 million more than Beyonce, you're making $185 million and Beyonce's only making $8 million. That is a complete mockery of music. Taylor Swift became famous when... Well, she was already famous. She was already making money. But Taylor Swift really um, hit the ground running when Kanye West said that Beyonce's video was better than her video on the MTV Awards. That's what she's mostly famous for. And Kanye West at that point was labeled the biggest asshole that ever lived after that moment. When I look at Taylor Swift, I look at, you know, an average, you know, no, she's a good singer, like I said before. I look at a singer that, yes, she can sing, but ha- what song have Taylor Smith made that's fucking relevant for the last decade? I've never even gotten to a car with anybody that said, hey, turn that Taylor Swift on. Nobody, no race at all, period. No one's never told me, turn that Taylor Swift song on. My girl, who's probably listened to the most white music ever, ever in life that I ever dealt with, ever in life. I, she listens to all types of white people. She, I don't, I, you know me, I, I like R&B and rap, a little bit, of, a lot of old school, but, you know, when it gets to exploring, I really don't explore. She explored. She never said turn Taylor Swift on. Never in her life has she ever put Taylor Swift in her top ten. I want to know who's listening to Taylor Swift. Beyonce has her own clan. The Beehive. They're da- That's why I really stopped talking about Beyonce because the Beehive, they're very dangerous. I don't really deal with the Beehive. They, they come, they swarm like real bees. You say anything bad about Beyonce, the Beehive comes, they come over you, and they just destroy whatever social media outlet you're on when you're talking about the Beehive. I stay away from the Beehive. She has the Beehive. She has, the reli- she has her own religion. Beyonce's tickets... Or unaffordable. I, I'm not. Look, I don't give a fuck who Beyonce is. I'm not paying no fucking twelve to fifteen hundred dollars to see no fucking Beyonce, even though she does put on great performances. Great performances. Like it's just, it's sad that Beyonce is making a hundred million dollars less than Taylor Swift. All the shit Beyonce does. I mean, Beyonce is do Beyonce is doing flips, twirls, dancing twerking, all in high heels and singing at a high note at the same time. That is very, very impressive. I don't think she even misses a note while doing spins and twerks. She doesn't even miss a note in in her songs. Am I a huge Beyonce fan? I'm really not. I like two, three songs she made. Me, myself, and I, and I'd rather be with you, cater to you. Oh, yeah, sleep in your t-shirt. But other than that, I'm really not a Beyonce fan. But I do respect the fact that if you go to a Beyonce concert, you will get your money's worth. Your whole $1,000 plus worth if you go to Beyonce's concert. Taylor Swift, on the other hand, is going to sit there with a guitar and just sing. She has no dance moves. She has never created no, no, she has no Taylor Swift team. Her songs are basic ass candy apple songs. She's not made a song that really physically, emotionally, emotionalized women to start a movement against men. She has not made that song. Beyonce has made revolutionary songs to tar- to to end men's careers and everything. Beyonce is the anti antichrist in some form, in some way, when it comes to the women movement. It just shows you how racism is in America. Even a black woman who at her top, or I mean, she Beyonce is the best performer, female performer ever. 
that it doesn't get no better than Beyonce. Like the Beyonce experience is real. I just don't have the Beyonce money to be paying no fifteen hundred dollars in that's for 